Good evening, YouTube. What the crap's going on? Hey, guess what? I, I got a notification on some social media. It was reminding me that a year ago today was the day that I had hit 200,000 subscribers. And I'm pretty close to 230,000 now. Um, to some people, that may not seem that fast, because obviously there's a lot of people on YouTube growing faster than I am. But my goodness, thank you. Um, thank you for all those who subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy it, please feel free. Subscribing helps me a lot, helps my channel grow and helps me, um, I guess, keep things going. Like, the bigger my channel is, the more successful it is, the more I'm able to, you know, make this thing uh, worth continuing, obviously, which I really want to because I love it. And so your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Um, I, I kid you not, the first video I uploaded, my goal was, I was like, you know, how crazy would it be if I could get 100 views? Folks, we're almost up to 100 million views on my channel here pretty soon. It won't be that long we're going to hit the 100 million view mark. That's insane. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really glad that so many people enjoy the videos and hopefully you can keep bringing more people and we can keep making this awesome because I love making the videos for you and I, I love that people enjoy it. Anyway, we're going to pick things up uh, with the Court of Libaris where we left off. I do believe we're getting somewhat close to having some more Sphinx action. Ooh, yes we are. Kimri and War Sphinx coming up soon. Oh, man, it's going to be so hard to recruit it though because we got to go all the way back. Where is, um... I definitely want the War Sphinx in Kalida's army. Um, so I'm thinking about uh, maybe marching her back. So just Sentinels. Oh, wow, we got to go way back. <laughs> We'd have to go all the way back to... Yeah, we could we could cross right here and recruit, so it wouldn't be that bad. Wouldn't be that Bring bad. Me Bring me Neferata's head. We're gonna go ahead and start heading that way. Heading that way. Oh, Get it? She said, "No, uh, yeah. okay, I know. It was, it was lame, folks. It was lame. I apologize." Let's end the turn. Uh, I don't think there's anything I really want to build right now. I'm gonna save some money because there's probably other giant war sphinx type buildings that I need to build that take a lot of money so we're gonna save it up folks it is the weekend and the only thing that's better than the weekend is playing Total War on the weekend with you I guess I'm not with you but you know what I mean <laughs> it's exciting well I mean obviously outside of my family sorry folks I like my family more than I like you all <laughs> but second love right here second love promise oh man I really do love doing this, so like I said, thank you for all those folks who watch and give me a reason to do this. It really is fun. Um, let's see. I'm going to get over here and cut off the blue vipers. And let's make that move. There's still a lot of vampiric corruption over there that we need to get rid of. And let's take this king forward. Because we are at war with Itza and the Blue Vipers. I'd kind of like to march against Itza, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and move up as close to there so we can hit Chakwa. And then Missy, you get yourself marching. I want a Kimri and War Sphinx with haste. Necro Sphinx in two turns. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much Sphinx action going on here. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So we still got two armies forward, two back here. Do I have another one too? I can't remember. I don't think I do right now. Though it won't be that long before we can. Um, let's take a look at the buildings. Copper Deserts tier four. Um, I'm two turns until we can build that up, so we'll need some money for that. This one's tier 5, and we've built both the Sphinx buildings. Um, it wouldn't be bad to build this so we can get more Rishapti with Great Bow. Okay, nothing to worry about there at the moment. There's another place where we can get more Rishapti with Great Bow. We could get more Tomb Guard by building that. I mean, there's a lot of buildings here that would be quite useful. We've still got a long ways because we need two surplus points before we can go to tier 5 there. 
We are not in a terrible hurry there either. Um, so I kind of think if I look at some of these, it probably wouldn't hurt to be able to have more. We go to a, whew, all those jars. Untainted actually would be pretty good. And we get a Necrosphinx garrison. Ooh, that's pretty ridiculous also. Let's uh let's go ahead and build the uh, statue of uh, f f Oct whatever however you say that. I can't even begin to pronounce that. I do like this soundtrack though; it's pretty sweet. We got so many jars, so many jars, but I'm missing some of the um, key trade items to really start spamming out the things that I want. So I'm I'm, I'm just gonna save the jars, and I have a lot. And some people are like, "Hey, you can get another army with it." I know. I don't really need the army right now, so I'm going to save those jars, and um, I'm going to try and get the right trade goods so that I can start spamming out ridiculous equipment for my uh, leadership. we got to take out Itza because they're busy trying to... well, they had a critical failure, so that's good. But they're trying to assassinate units and slow me down and stuff, so we gotta we got to get these guys off the map. My Necrotect is ready. I believe he belonged in this army. Get on over there, you assassinated fool. I think we're ready to do restore, yeah. Restore. And Kalita. She's almost back across to where she needs to be to get the, the Sphinx. I'm assuming it would take a very long time to recruit Sphinx from just the uh, standard stuff. Uh, we could use some extra money. I mean, I could pop up here and... I can't move very far if I'm in a raid, though. Let's just push forward. We need to knock out uh, that Lizardman settlement. The Blue Vipers fell back over here. No big surprise. Bunch of dang cowards. Like, uh, corruption's bad. Let's scooch up here to the line, and we're gonna push up to the blood swamps. We need those dyes anyway. Let's go see which resources it is that I'm wanting. I got a weapons. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, this right here. So I need um, iron and obsidian. There's actually some obsidian not too far from me if I go settle the star tower. Can I get a Tross Necrotect? I sure can. So assuming that's not a Skaven settlement now, I hate that the Necrotect starts all the way back at your capital. They really need to let you summon that wherever you want. Or if they're gonna put it at your capital, the very least they could do is let you have it move on the first turn. Okay. So we're gonna send him up and try and resettle. So let me see. Yeah, I don't have iron. Don't have iron. So I'm missing iron. So I can't. I really need some iron. Is anybody else to trade with? These guys aren't exporting iron, but we can try and trade with them nonetheless. Well, they're being buttheads. Um. They're war with the Doom Kingdoms and the followers of Nagash. Well, you know what? If you don't have what I want, then... Open the what about you? You got iron? Of for you Importing iron. So, the answer is no. He's useless. You are tracks. No or iron. Tracks. No iron. Not interested. No iron. It is night. Ah, you seek out the Von Caster. Not that I would make an agreement with them anyway, but, um, no iron. <laughs> really? So, Order of War Masters. We need visibility on Lothern. Lothern would probably have iron that we could trade. Where else is iron on the map here? Okay, not too far to the north of us. The blue vipers have some, actually. So we'll hit the dyes and then the iron. So perfect. Good. We'll have some of the resources that I want. Obsidian, dyes, iron. Do I already have dyes? I have spices. I do not have dyes. So we can pick up obsidian, dyes, and iron here pretty quickly. 
And that, with all the jars we have, that'll start to open up a lot of stuff at the uh, Mortuary Cult. My agent begins the very long journey home. We'll put him into one of the armies. Make use of him. I don't have that many uh, Tomb Princes. Tomb Prince isn't a bad unit. Um, some people have asked why I haven't focused on him. I mean, it's just because I want a Necrotech because they heal Constructs and buff Constructs. And then I want a Lich Priest because I want magic in every single army. Um, and the Tomb King, the generic version at least, is kind of like a Tomb Prince. And so I guess to me it almost feels like a double. I mean, could you put him in there? Sure. I guess. Where's that Wa at? It's actually pretty close to us. So let's be careful. We could go up into an ambush mode. Chakwa does not have defenses. But it's still giving them really good chances for some reason, so let's kick the crap out of these guys. I'm sure that we can correct the uh, auto resolve pretty quickly here. Got our casket of souls. Yeah, I'm not real impressed with the screaming skull catapult. Has anybody found a good use for it? Do I just not understand it? I don't know. I just I don't think the screaming skull catapult is very good. I mean, I've seen it score direct hits and do almost no damage. Or I mean, is it is it good against something that I haven't tried it against? Like I mean, typically I think of that stuff as being good against. Um, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Nehekara warriors up front, and we're gonna meat shield them with some skeletons so that the skeletons die and then get the uh, realm of souls going skeletons die uh, you all know what I mean I don't really think they die but actually I don't need them on defensive Let's do it. Start wrecking those guys. Let's push up so that they can't get close enough to my artillery to hurt it. Casket of Souls is actually a really nice artillery piece. It's not good against other artillery, but man is it good at um, really screwing up big balls of infantry. Group those guys out separate, and these guys out separate. Group one. Let's go ahead and attack. Why don't you just go chase down the cavalry? Got my chariots moving forward. Let's take these two chariots and swing wide around that flank. What are these? Couple of spear riders. Let's leave one chariot back here. You all start tearing that down. Let's buff up a bunch of my guys. Attack this guy. Turn around. Got some good magic going. Okay, we caught the spear riders. Let's go catch them with the chariots over here too. Let's bring the chariots around. Tomb Scorpion's doing their thing. Witch Priest definitely buffing us up nice. Pterodon riders coming down. Artillery. Alright, spear riders got caught. And chariots are going to start running down. units. Got 10 seconds till I can buff my guys up again. Enemy lords getting jacked up. Team Scorpion keeps getting distracted. Let's keep the chariots moving. Let's get some close-ups. Watch the Tomb Scorpion come wreck this slam. See my Tomb King there too. Tomb Scorpion really is a very cool unit. Speaking of... 
get this one into action over here. Come on, Team Scorpion. Stink some fat toad. Yeah, Hikara Warriors get back here. Oh, these guys got wrecked bad. So we didn't really start filling up the Realm of Souls. Yep, that's that. As expected, decisive victory. The uh, auto resolve may be surprised, but me not so much. It's kind of what I expected. I mean, the Nehakara warriors aren't amazing, but they're pretty good. Especially if they get the right buffs. I mean, like all that lore of light buffing there. Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm not going to sack it because I need the uh, settlements to be as large as possible because I don't want to have to deal with a lot of growth. Got an opal amulet. Okay, what do we got here? We can put the Tomb King on a skeleton chariot. At 18, he can go on the... Yeah, we want to do that because then right when he gets to 18, we want to unlock the Kimrian War Sphinx. That is going to be sweet. And this... Witch Priest, Lore of Light. Uh, let's give him the Elixir of Immortality. Because that'll help make sure that we don't lose him. He's come a long ways, and we'd sure like to hang on to him. Hold on to those moldy old bones a little longer. Got us a long walk ahead with that Necrotect, but... Try it one way or the other. Let's go to a standard stance, cross the border. Now we should be able to recruit... Oh my goodness. Oh yes! Holy crud, we can get four War Sphinx because of all the upgrades and stuff that we've gotten. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you know what though, these Scorpions, I don't want to waste these Scorpions. They're useful units. So are some of these other units here. I, I kind of want to swap up some of these units in this army. Um... Four turns. I, I, I kind of want to get a Casket of Souls for Kalita. Can I recruit another Lord? I don't think I can. Dang it. It's really... I mean, I don't want to lose Silver to your... I mean, all we got is just some idiot Skeleton Warriors and stuff here. So, let's, um, let's kill some of the units off in this army that, you know, are just low tier and easily replaceable. And let's swing this army down here. And we'll swap out some of the units so that we don't lose perfectly good units. I can't get the Kepper Tomb Guard back for a while. We can already get one Necro Sphinx too. I know I want a Necro Sphinx for the Anti-Large. Let's start training the Necro Sphinx. And like I said, we'll swap some units out. Chakwa is ours. Is, does Itza have any more settlements? I don't believe so. Did they get destroyed? I didn't pay attention. Yep, faction destroyed. That's the best kind of enemy faction. A destroyed one. Greatest dynasty. We don't need this. So we got allies to the north. Uh, we want the lumber. Okay, this army is going to march back around. Now, this is where it was going to get a little dicey, potentially. Uh, let me look at something real quick. Um, ambush, 25% of campaign movement range. Let's move up, like, right here. This is really risky, because they got a lot of armies up here. I mean, there is a, a crap load of savage orcs up here. And this army is good, but it's not spectacular, right? I mean, that's a lot of Savage Orcs. We're going to go into an ambush stance and see what we can drum up. This puts us at a fair fair bit of risk, but... King Lamesius, uh, he's just going to have to take the risk, because that's what I make people do. Okay. Yeah, we really need to get trade. Maybe I should take that agent up and uh, discover Lothern so we can open trade. How about that? I think that would be a smart thing to do. 
because he's not doing a whole lot else, and all I'd be doing is bring him back to join one of these armies, which is otherwise quite fine without a Tomb Prince. You fragile what do you want, Melwin? Non aggression pact? Uh, no, because I have to kill you eventually. Sorry, there's a book in the gash in your settlement. That's just how it rolls. Okay, they saw me. <laughs> there's no ambush here. We'd be up against three stinking armies later. We're gonna retreat. Retreat! They're all suffering attrition anyway, which is kind of nice. We'll take another uh, stab at an ambush. Volatile Vortex. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna head up there and try and discover Lothern. Okay, so that'll be good. We got that underway. These guys are recruiting. Let's bring this army up. Don't need this skeleton archer. Start swapping out some of these units because these tomb scorpions could be useful down here. Um, these chariots could be useful in this army. There. That'll make room for some serious Sphinx action uh, and a casket of souls in Kalita's army, and it gets this army in better shape. Can we... We need to get into the Entomb beneath the sands. Um, we'll worry about that on the next turn. Let's... Let's go ahead and force march back this way just a little bit here. Okay, let's take a look at our buildings because I think there are, yep, right here, tier 5. That's what I needed to do. And then up here. Let's, let's move up just a little bit. Once again, try our ambush. Whoa, they ambushed me. Well, I guess we're going to fight it. I hope this isn't like two or three armies. Look at me trying to ambush the green skins, and the green skins are like, you can't scheme like a goblin. Bunch of loser skeletons. I mean, that's what they're thinking. I'm going to change their mind, because I'm going to turn their scheme against them here. I don't think savage orcs are going to be particularly good against the army I got. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, these guys look good. Probably coming from this way. Yeah, 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 there, there they are. All right, Nahakara warriors form a line. Tomb guard, second line. Leaders, cavalry, stalkers, Bishabti. Move up queen to there. All right, their ambush uh, was pretty poorly set up here, and it's going to give me a decent chance to get my forces. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, all I got's a Necrotect and a Tomb King. This army needs a Lich Priest. Okay. Ooh, crap, we're getting charged down by freaking Boar Boys. That's bad. Actually, attack there. Okay, Sepulchral Stalkers doing their thing. Yeah, we're going to get beat up pretty good here. Um, where's my Shabti? Let's get the Shabti into the fight against the infantry. We're going to need one up over here. Let's get some uh, Nehekara horsemen out to the flank. Come over here and help against these guys. Let's get in here and fight. Um, my stalkers are still making their way up to this flank. Let's go ahead and tie down some of these savage boar biggins. Yeah, let's get these sepulchral stalkers up here. We need some help in that infantry fight. We're going to need it pretty quick. Swing this unit up. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a pretty tough fight right now, actually. The Hekara horsemen are getting wrecked. I just need them to stay in there so that my Sepulchral Stalkers have some hit point buffer. Sounds kind of brutal, but it's true. 
All right, the fight in the center is actually going pretty good. Let's let's bring this Nehekara warrior back and around. Because we're gonna need some more support over here, and let's bring that tomb guard with halberd this way too. Let's wrap this up. Oh, these are savage biggins. No wonder they're holding out so well. Don't really have much of a choice. We gotta. Okay, there we go. And these Necropolis Knights, let's get around the flank. Nehekara Horsemen, not really suited to the job that they're getting tasked to here, but they're doing okay, all things considered. Let's heal up some shop teeth. Let's meet those guys. Okay, we'll be able to hold longer over here now. There comes our tier three healing, and uh, now we can really lay down some hurt over here. Let's get these. Oh yeah. Right here. Ignore the boars and get into the back of this infantry. Get into the back of the infantry. Get into the back of the infantry. Actually, I guess go for the boars. Since we took so long. Okay, start wrapping up the flank. Push, 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 push. Push through the flank. And the uh, savage orc ambush is foiled. Fortunately for me, there weren't more of them here than this because a few more of them, and they would have, they would have wrapped me up pretty bad. Tomb Guard would have made this army a lot more resistant to these savage orcs. I think. But man, we, we took a bit of a beating there, but we won, and that's good enough for now. We're gonna lose a Nehekara warrior and a Nehekara horseman. It's fairly easy to replace. Victory in undeath. I'm actually going to take the movement range and the money because we're trying to build more buildings and stuff too. So that worked out actually. Wasn't like super ideal, but it worked out. Should be able to get back here, replenish. Um, we can't do any... Well, we actually can get our Nehekara Warrior and our Nehekara Horseman back, but is that what we want? We could just get another Shabti to replace one of those Nehekara Horsemen, and that would probably be smart. It's also Scorpions that we can get in two turns. In fact, we got enough infantry. Um, we really probably could use the Scorpions because they help hold the enemy infantry so well. So let's do that. A couple turns, we'll just get some more scorpions. Go ahead and start recruiting a couple of Kimrian War Sphinx. That only takes some day 18. She really needs some more in infantry. I'd like to get the, the Kepra Tomb Guard back in this army. How long till the Kepra Tomb Guard's available? Six turns? That's annoying. But we got three anyway, waiting on that stuff. Um, we begin. Go ahead and just get a couple of Nehekara warriors and replace them later. That'll work for now. Um, just to get Kalita's troops settled in. We need to kind of wear down the blue vipers over here. This army can swing down to Ketza and get ready to go there. Let's see. So we did the building there. Six turns. We're gonna need, we're gonna need like twenty thousand gold. <laughs> Might as well start saving because I need to build more buildings for Sphinx. And before we do though, I really do need some. Um, I need some more tomb guard, and there's some buildings I can build for it. So I may go ahead and do one turn, and then build the building that'll give me more tomb guard, and then start saving for the Sphinx buildings. Because I'm going to need, like, a good stable line in some of these armies, and that's what we need the Tomb Guard for. I will not bow to a dead king. Uh, I you are a dead a queen. queen. <laughs> declare war. This fact, Kemri declared war on me? Psh. Okay. Sail on over here, chumps. Let's find out if you're really imperishable. Don't be jealous. 
Oh man, did the blue vipers... Okay, no, there's still a vampire faction there. It's like, please tell me the blue vipers didn't kill off the vampires and take away all my fun. Now this is a bit of a hairy situation up here. I can't finish recruiting my scorpions. Because we're about to get attacked hardcore. Uh, we definitely get some uh, decent garrison here. It's not it's not fantastic, but it's it's better than nothing. No matter whether I try and recruit the shorter thing here or not, I mean it's we're still going to be in trouble one way or the other. I think while these guys are so busy over here trying to send everything this way, though, it just probably opens the door for me to head this way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to try and position myself. Right up here on this settlement, we do have siege equipment, so we should be able to bypass the siege and knock those guys out quickly. And then this army can try and dash north in case we have trouble with the, the blue vipers up here. Cetra does her thing, and then I told myself I was going to build up a building for Tomb Guard, which that one would only give me the Hekara Warriors. There was somewhere where we were ready to build up. Yeah, right here. So that'll give me two more Tomb Guard and one more with Halberd. Then I'm going to start saving that money. Keep sailing, buddy. Keep sailing to Ulthwan. Spot us a trade route. Hopefully we can get a trade route. I would think so. I mean, we're friendly with the Order of Lore Masters, and that ought to make Teclis be our friend. We've had a good campaign with Kalita here. I thought this was going to be one of the hardest ones, but man, we'd, we've been doing some serious butt-kicking in this campaign. Okay, they're waiting to attack me because they're scared about my numbers, which just means that I'm going to be able to move up and re reinforce. I'm going to move here. If they do attack me on the next turn, I still get my garrison to help, and we can probably beat these guys down. And they're losing troops. Up here, they've moved a force in to help at the siege, but we could start sieging them out, probably. We may take attrition while sieging, though, unfortunately. Let's find out. Alright, we will not. Good. Alright, so we can start sieging these guys out up there. So that'll hold down some of the blue vipers while we deal with the rest of them over here. And how's that? Man, I swear, it takes forever. Forever. Get over there, stinking necrotect. All right, broski. Man, he still got like five turns too. Wow, we're never gonna get where we're going. All right, money saving right now. That's all I'm interested in because I want. More Sphinx. I guess another Necro Sphinx and another Kimrian War Sphinx. So we'll have three more Kimrian War Sphinx that can be divvied out to our armies. Oh yeah, our army is going to be getting strong. We need to get uh, Kalida's Ishabti traded out for Ishabti with Great Bow. So we can focus on some of that eventually too. So Sphinxes and Ishabti with Great Bow is just going to be OP. If you're looking for a peace treaty tough. Oh, sweet. Gonna get in a big fight up here. I think it's good. <laughs> I think I'm happy about this fight. I am. Yeah, that's a lot of savage boars. I'm not happy about that. Let's fight it, though. I'm sure there's a way we can win. Oh, we don't have any Shabti in this army. That's bad news. Yeah, that is bad news, because we would actually have a pretty hard time protecting the rear of our lines. Do you have the scorpions to help us punch through, and we got a Lich Priest, but I don't know how many... Uh, let's gamble this deployment. Alright, we got lucky. Start deployment. Okay, we do have the buff spells. Which we will need, and they're going to have to wait on the reinforcements, which means we can start bombarding... Well, I mean, they may deploy further back trying to meet up with the reinforcements, but we could still start bombarding. Alright, 
I'm just gonna have some of these extra units sitting around. Yeah, I got pretty good range with the Casket of Souls there. I think we should be good. Want our Scorpions right up in the thick of it. Same thing with our Lord. He's on a chariot, so that'll help. This is gonna be kind of our mainline attack force here. These are our secondary troops. Archers. Chariots. Alright. Oh good, they deployed in range. That's perfect. What a bunch of idiots. Start hitting these Savage Orc biggins. My archers should be able to effectively help me deal with theirs. I just gotta keep my flanks clear of boar boys. And um, let my magic and scorpions help me win in the center. I hope. We're gonna have our work cut out for us because there's quite a few reinforcements coming. We got a little bit of hits there. Nothing too crazy. coming through the woods. Yeah, they outnumber us pretty significantly. Boars are trying to come get right in my face. Dang it, they're gonna freaking destroy my Nehekara warriors on the charge. Okay, artillery, change targets. pretty good. Okay, let's start spreading out. You gotta get back here and protect against the boars. Get in here and help against the boars. Start shooting the boars. Um, just come over this way and help fight. It's actually going okay for the moment. Pretty good. Um, artillery. There's a juicy little blob right back here. Let's take a piece of it. Swing back over this way and help clean up the fight in the center. We're holding out on the flank. Holding out. Not beautifully, but we're holding out. Oh crap, we're gonna get swung around on here. Let's get in there and pin those guys down. Enemy Lord's dying. That's very good news for us. Nehekara Warriors just hang in there. I know I don't have you in an ideal situation. Or even partially ideal. Let's get one of these chariots swing this way. We need some weight. Five. Start targeting out here. Okay, we enemy lords routing. That's good news. Get some more healing. Good. Good. Fight's actually manageable, I think. Time warp this blob. Let's cut through this crap. We definitely have some spots that it's not going great for us. Um, some Shabti right in their face right here should be pretty good. Okay, the boars are dropping. Got the extra chariots over here. Let's keep up the attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean them up. Clean them up. Up out. Leadership's looking healthy. Yeah, yeah, Shabti cleaned up this blob back here. This was an ugly, ugly fight, folks. Clean him up, Shabti, clean him up. Oh, no, 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 this is bad. This is bad. Uh, we need some help. Uh, right here, right here, back here, back here. Let's go save those archers. Come on, clean this guy up. Y'all get in here. Uh, Faw's protection. Oh, we can overcast it. Hit it. Let's chase down more archers. The 
you Shabti. This fight over here is really one of the main things hurting us right now. If we can clean up these boars, save those skeletons. Oh, that was a good hit right there. Our catapult's getting wrecked, though. Get back on your equipment. Come on, route boars. Yes, 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 yes. Get back here and fight. Fight! Scorpion, run down the archers. Alright, that is Shopti's doing wonders over there. Let's. We just gotta go chase down enough archers. We should be good to go, and our Scorpion should be able to catch most of those archers. Let's do some firing with some of this stuff, clean most of that up. Okay, the Summon Du Shopti really did a brilliant job. Oh crap. That might be the end of my Screaming Skull catapult. Because I didn't move my guys to protect it like I should have. Alright, Scorpion. Let's clean these archers. Their lord is kind of caught up against a bunch of chariots right now. He's taking a lot of damage. Okay, our, yeah, our catapult, the Screaming Skull catapults toast. This is not good. Skeleton warriors, I needed you back here. Get on the boars. Get over here. Chariot's going to get overwhelmed now. Let's try and get him out of there. Clean that up. Come on, clean these archers up. If I stop chasing these guys, they're going to come back. I don't know why they won't shatter. I don't have time for that right now, though. Get back here. I need the scorpions. Let's take these guys out. Chariots, I, seriously, uh, I wanted you to exit that fight. I was... Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're getting a chain route. Did it. It's definitely a tough fight because we were outnumbered. But with the magic, artillery, artillery played a pretty big role here. We got some solid kills with that. Scorpions were a big deal because they caused a lot of terror and caused the units to rout. And then that allowed our uh, Nehekara warriors to do a little bit of work. They didn't do great, but they got some work done. It's probably time for us to improve this army a little bit anyway. Let's take the money again because we're trying to save money. Oh wow, the Blue Vipers had a whole other army right behind it. Oh, they didn't attack me though. What a bunch of idiots. They totally could have wiped my army out. Now I have reinforcements. Yeah, I mean with four scorpions in this army, I mean, I, I don't even have to have good infantry. I mean, even though we lost a bunch of units, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Hey, speaking of last time, how come I didn't... Oh, maybe I did get my garrison reinforcements and I never used them. Crap! I never even looked. Arise, my I'm going to look at the comments. You guys tell me. Did, did I just completely ignore a bunch of reinforcements that totally would have saved my crap? I'll bet I did. I'll bet I did. How long have I been playing this game? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Sometimes I just get too excited, and yeah. Stuff happens. There's no excuse for it, but the stuff happened. I think they're going to attack me because I've got so many... Or since they've got supposedly numbers on me here. Well, the skeletons will be useful here because they're just fodder for Realm of Souls. We've got some serious anti-infantry power in the center of this army. I mean, like some major anti-infantry power. In fact, this, this army is pretty much an absolute nightmare for infantry. I'm just going to keep the chariots towards the back. Got our carrion. Okay, let's get our reinforcements. Okay. 
Let's bring these guys up to here. Actually, gonna just kind of like group up into one. I'm gonna group up into one giant army. Guys, get them all across the back line. Okay, the uh, savage orcs are moving up. Oh, these guys are going to be in for one heck of a fight. Charge! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be one gargantuan clash. Look at this. Just look at it. All the Ashopti scorpions. Oh my goodness, yes. This is why you Tomb King right here. Okay, boys, let's let's put a flank up. our flank. Let's go start chasing archers. Their army just absolutely shattered here in the center. Some trolls coming around my flank. Oh wow, we got, yeah. Wow! We got a lot of reinforcements coming in from over here. We're gonna need some, uh... Holy cow, there's a lot more savage orcs here than my initial look, thought. Just gonna keep these guys attacking. There's some Realm of Souls. Oh, crud, we got trolls. Trolls on the loose, folks. Trolls, but oh my goodness, did they ever get behind my lines? Let's try and get behind their lines then. Actually, just attack forward. Just hold the line. Let's swing around here. These chariots come crashing down the hill, crash down the hill. Nehekara horsemen. Let's crash into the savage orcs. Take out some trolls. heal something. I think we had a second. Try and heal something else too. Just keep stuff healing. Turn around. Guys fight. Fight. Just keep everybody fighting. Let's take out these trolls that just came on. We just wrapped up this flying card. Let's keep pushing. Try and press the advantage over here. Polkroll Stalkers and Tomb Guard with Halberds doing really good work there. Wow, there are so many enemies here. Yeah, a lot of enemies just came on from this flank too. There are... Alright, take these trolls out. Take them out. Take them out. Take those trolls out. Get over here into the infantry. Did we wrap this one up? Yeah, good. We pretty much wrapped up this flank, rolled it up good. There's a few trolls up there, but nuts to the trolls. Let's keep the uh, 
chariots on task here. We got some Nehekara horsemen that kind of sacrificed, but that's okay. Let's start chasing boar boys. Just follow these guys wherever they go, get into combat. All my leadership. Let's get them into a group and go after the enemy lord who is here. And then scorpions. Let's get our scorpions chasing down archers. Okay, all of our scorpions are tasked. Gonna try and cut our way through some of these enemies over here. Cut those trolls down. Get on these guys. Okay, it's just chariots. We really shouldn't be having a hard time here. I mean, uh, just archers. Keep moving. We got caught up with some trolls, but we really just need to chase the archers. Oh, we can summon a new Shabti. Uh, let's summon it up right on top of these archers and get rid of them. Clean that up. Let's push over. Savage Orc Air Boy down. Let's get on this thing. Enemy Lord got punched out. The Scorpions found their mark, I think. This Scorpion's got quite a few units back here, but... The Savage Orcs are pretty much defeated. Swing back around. Those guys got routed. I can't believe my Skeleton Archers lived through most of this. They may not live much longer. Shopti coming this way. Cleaned all that up. Come on, where's the chain route? I really don't think these guys have near as good a chance as you are considering. Let's get up here and save these archers. A couple of you Shopti take down those. Three. Let's head up here. Let's get a Necrotect. Let's uh, just keep healing Ushabti. Okay, my chariots got run down by some trolls. That's not good. Keep moving, keep moving. Scorpion, come help me deal with the trolls. Same thing here. You guys can turn around, come back this way. There's really just scattered Blue Viper forces everywhere. They don't have a very coordinated attack after it left. They've got one leader back here that's kind of holding this whole thing together. Let's swamp him with Tomb Scorpions. I don't think he has enough to stop me from doing that. Of course, my Tomb Scorpions are scattered all over, too. Yeah, Kara Horseman, tear those guys down. Let's push up. So my uh, Ishabti. These are fast movers too. Should be able to clean all that up. Group three. I guess the only reason they're not chain routing is because that shaman was back here, but he's he got wrecked by a tomb scorpion. I would think surely a chain route has to be imminent here. Uh, no, they've got reinforcements. Okay, so here's the thing. Group one, get back here. We're gonna regroup everything. Everybody back. Except the scorpions. No, even the scorpions. Let's make a line of fast moving Constructs. Okay. I'm just going to get all my constructs together. Let's try and get what infantry units I have left. Get it together. And I'm gonna swing with this big group of constructs and just come wreck stuff. Go. 
We'll just one by one kind of shatter these targets. We've got speed, terror. Should have everything we need to work through. Have a Nehekara horseman, right? Let's get on these guys. Yeah, we're just gonna blob up and start smacking up their their forces. Spread wide. Hit those guys. Group four. Let's take out the savage boars. We're just gonna focus targets down. Group three. The savage boars want to meet you. Yeah. As hard as these guys are gonna hit, and then with the terror, I mean, it should be a pretty quick wrap up of any unit we click an attack order on. We should be able to go. Yep, there's the chain route. So really, it's just huge numbers of savage orcs there. Huge numbers. Good fight. So I lost some carrion, some chariots. Again, all very replaceable units for the most part. Doubt we lost anything that was too critical, and the Blue Vipers took extreme losses. <laughs> we did lose this Necropolis Knight. That's not great. Other than that, though, that was really the only uh, loss that's going to hurt us for any amount of turns. My dynasty reigns supreme. We got, oh, we got good recruiting in this province too, so we should be able to get get things put back together pretty quickly. That was the army that had all the skeletons. This army had some. Let's get the Nehekara warriors. Got the scorpions. So that'd be six infantry. Still at seventeen. I think one of our army lost the Necropolis Knight. Let's do that. Nehekara this army. Let's give them a few Nehekara warriors. Probably some skeletons and spears help out against cavalry. We've got plenty of anti-infantry in this army. And then we need some speed. I alone shall restore Nehekara. Something like that. That'll work. We won't. Actually, that's... It's really not enough infantry. Let's drop that. Even though it's crappy, we'll just put one more infantry in there for now. So that'll get these two armies put back together. Uh, they're going to be in good shape. And Kalita is one turn away here from finishing up. She's got three War Sphinx units, and she'll be able to move back to the front. The Blue Vipers are gone, and Kalita is now armed to the teeth for taking out vampires. I'm not really sure we won this battle. I'm not I'm not sure how that doesn't instantly give us the victory here. That's actually pretty infuriating. Because if they sallied out against me, did we get attacked by some other army that got destroyed and then it left these two? I'm not sure exactly how that works. But I'm going to have to break that siege off too and head back into friendly territory because we're too few in units here, and if they get any reinforcing armies, we'll just lose our our Tomb King, which I'm not okay with. So we'll move this army back and uh, do some replenishment work here, too. Um, we do have a lot of money at this point, which is good. Forgotten Isles is still three turns away from where we need it to be. So we're going to continue to save money probably doesn't hurt to build this and uh, build more of this right here so we can get more Nehekara warriors, more Tomb Kings, and we'll still have 10 grand. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you all soon on the next episode.